save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! Would you guys like stop saying 30 frames per second in the chat? Like, we understand it's 30 frames per second. We're not blind. Uh, you can stop complaining now. Like, we get it. It's 30 frames. It's not the end of the world. The game is I still fun. To make hard journey easy. <laughs> you know, like, uh, alright, I get it. Every single person has to say 30 frames at least seven or eight times, right? Like, you can't stand it. <clears throat> Good lord. By the way, it's a new stone. I'm, I'm hypocritical. Okay, guys, I'm splitting the part. I have to pee. So if you can give me a second here to just do that, I'll mute the mic. And guys, if you are enjoying tonight's stream, if you could support it in some way, that would be great. Uh, as you know, I try to hit at least the tier one tip skull every stream. Uh, and we are only $21 of the way there. Uh, it would be great if we can hit the tier one tip skull tonight. All right, thank you in advance, and I'll be right back. What a horrible e-beggar. And he's demanding that his fans pay for all of his supplies. So we got a troll. All right, let me get rid of him. Oh, they're already taken care of, or... No? Was it taken care of? This is weird. It says there's 50 gifted memberships, but I can't find the notification of when the gifted memberships went out. Yeah, it's not even in the chat. I seriously, it's not, it doesn't even exist. Oh, okay. Ponage, thank you. Ponage got it. Ponage took care of it already. Thank you, Ponage, for taking care of it. He caught it. So I'm looking, I'm like, it's not even in the chat. I can't stop it. And then he got it. So thank you for that, Ponage. Appreciate that. Okay. Of course, they tried to do that when I'm, when I'm, you know, in the bathroom, like the pussies they are. The complete fucking ballless cowards. The cockless little fucking weasels. Little bitches. They probably run from mice. Oh my god, he's drinking sperm? Go ahead and do it when I'm not here to do anything about it, right? Okay, so, uh... Uh, I received a $21 tip. A very generous tip. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm down here to get a revive item, that's for sure. Nice choppy frame rate. Uh, so I, I, I'm not going to be playing this for a bit, guys, because I'm going to be focusing on the other RPGs that I'm playing. But I sure would like to know how I'm supposed to do a mission. Chest is looted already. I sure would like to know how I'm supposed to do this mission when there's no back entrance at all. This is where we already were. Yep. This goes to a dead end. We've already gone this way, and the path doesn't continue. It looks like it should, but it's definitely a dead end. See? It shows a path here, but there's no path. This is a dead end. See? If this really were a path, I could follow itself, and maybe this would have a way to go around and go to the back, like the back of the palace. But it's not real. It's not a real path. So I have absolutely no clue how to do this mission, and the game doesn't give you any guidance whatsoever. That's pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, try me, Vivi. <laughs> I need Jane and to go the end. <laughs> Without a guide, you'll never figure anything out. Looks like you go down, but I don't know how. See that? It does look like eventually this will be like cleared out. And you'll be able to like go down. See that? There is a way down, but it can't do it now. It's blocked. I'm clueless. I have no clue how they're expecting you to do this. So I guess we're going to call it a night. We're probably just going to save up. And the next time around, start fresh and try to figure this out. Because I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right now. To get to that mission. It seems pretty fruitless. This is a place where they, they heal people. Alright, well, let's save. 
and when we resume, which likely I'm gonna be honest with everyone, if you under enjoyed the playthrough today, I played it over five hours, basically about five and a half hours today. I like the game a lot. I do feel like a lot of the stuff is kind of cryptic and it will require being looked up or getting advice from the chat. But outside of that, um, I think the game is fine. I don't think the frame rate's a big deal, and I'm really enjoying it. So the bummer is I can't tell you guys next time I'm playing this because I have to finish these insanely long lingering games I've been playing for months, and I'm focusing on that this week, and I'm totally hoping that I can finish those games by the end of this week because I would love to come back and play this, you know, a lot more. But the good news is for those of you who are playing this yourselves, you're going to be ahead of me. You know what I mean? Like, I played five and a half hours today, but lots of people, I'm sure, are going to be playing this all week long. And so hopefully when I play it next, which may be, like, next week, you guys will be able to come and ch check it out and not be spoiled, right? You know, I always hate when there's a new game and people are playing it, like, I don't want to be spoiled. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, initial impressions, I like the game a lot. The combat is very fun, action-based. Uh, I like the pawn system. It's kind of neat and, and interesting. Um, remember, liking those initial videos, leaving comments on them helps a lot. Maybe consider a super thanks to help out the playthrough. And uh, it will return. This will be a major focus of mine after I finish up the lingering stuff. Okay? So, for day one of uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, liking it a lot. Looking forward to more. I hope that you guys will join me for those in the future. But in the meantime, be safe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Support on the stream was pretty bad. So, uh, and then you have people who like... I guess it didn't show up today, because, like, the first stream had pretty good attendance, the late stream did not. So I guess people already, after one stream of burnout, and you know what, I'm gonna be honest with you, very similar to what happened with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. People showed up for the first stream, they were engaged, after that, kind of died out. I just, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all these RPGs are just too much. I know it for a fact, even though I literally like this one, it's very different from the others. For a viewing audience, people don't want to come to this channel and just watch an RPG constantly, and that's all that's fucking coming out. Really, it's, it's ridiculous, the fucking tremendous amount of RPGs that are still coming out, as if these game developers have no fucking conscious thought about them, the game landscape has too many right now. So, I like the game, I enjoyed it a lot, support today was okay, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't terrible, it was kind of middle of the road, alright, kind of, kind of, here's, here's how, how it went. On a day when I play Baldur's Gate, I get a ton of support for Baldur's Gate, and I get almost no support for, for Like a Dragon at Night. Today... There was decent support on the first stream, not as much as when I played Baldur's Gate, but there was also decent support on the late stream, so it kind of evened out to a normal day for me. Even though it's a big new release, again, it's an RPG. I know it's going to happen. When I start actually playing other games of interest, the interest will come back. People will come back to watch and support, but it ain't going to happen when every game's an RPG. I know that, okay? Anyway, I had a good time with it today. Now, it goes back on hiatus. It, well, not really back on hiatus, but it goes on hiatus, on the shelf, I should say. As of this week, the rest of this week, we're pushing to finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. Once they're done, then we can go full force into other games. And I'm kind of thinking it'll likely be some Dragon's Dogma alternated with something else, possibly Alone in the Dark, which seems like a horror game that would be right up my alley, and a lot of people are actually enjoying it now. So maybe I'll alternate those on the day, and then the night streams would be like Final Fantasy VII, and maybe co-op with my wife in the playthrough of Beyond, uh, Beyond Two Souls that we're going to be doing soon. So that could be some good variety there, and I think that might work. So... Yeah, so if you enjoyed Dragon's Dogma 2 today, let me know. Like the videos on my channel if you enjoyed them, and leave comments on them, and let me know your thoughts about this game, and if you want to see it in the rotation and all of that, okay? Uh, I had a great time with it personally. I can't wait to get back to it, and it sucks now we have to wait like a week, but we got to finish these lingering playthroughs, okay? Um, keep in mind, you can always support the playthrough even though you weren't there for the stream. You can do a super thanks on the video. You can leave a tip. The description's in the description of every video. It would be great to get some support for this playthrough, okay? What do you say people will think when they bring up DSP? The incident that I'm a beggar and I'm a thief and I'm this and I'm that. Oh, you know, when Phil tried to scam his his fucking viewers. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>